Hi Libras, my air sign Libras. Thank you guys so much for coming to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the Nights 1111 Tarot. Do not forget to hit the big red subscribe button. And don't forget to turn your notifications on all so you won't miss out anything I upload for you guys. Alright. And if you like this reading or if it resonates with you or your person, um, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget the energies are interchangeable, vice versa. Take the roles how they need be. Switch them around if you want to. Uh, for my subscribers, gang, 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 gang. Thank y'all so very much for coming back to the channel. I really do appreciate that. If you cannot hear me, please turn up your volume. It is very early in the morning and I do not want to wake my children up, okay? Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, make sure that you check out my email in the description box down below underneath the video. All right, you can send me a message if you want an answer to a question. There's your confirmation. If you want an answer to a question, <laughs> if you want to know about something, about your partner or a love reading, a general reading, a career, sex reading, it's only $50. It's a limited time only. It is not going to last long. If you want to donate to the channel, my cash app is in the description box down below underneath the video. Donate to the channel. Help the channel grow and bring your energies in. For those who have donated, thank you so very much for your donations. I really do appreciate that. All the love and all the support that you guys have shown me. Thank you so very much. I'm so happy and grateful for y'all. Now let's get into this reading because I know y'all like, okay, stop talking so much. Where's the reading? Get into the reading. <laughs> all right, Lisa. All right. People are getting their readings. All right, they want their readings, and <laughs> they're sending me these messages. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Libra, I feel like someone is keeping some hidden information or secrets from you, or this is you knowing something that you're not really saying anything about. Okay. This is a secret or hidden information. She who knows or he. So I feel like you're listening to your intuition about situations. Yeah. Also, you may, for some of you, you may be hiding some secret information or secret. You're not telling someone something right here. And it may have to do with you surprising someone with a gift or romantic gesture. You may be wanting to pop up on someone and bring them a... Um, a gift or make a romantic romantic gesture or extend a cup of love to this person here. But I feel like you're listening to your intuition as to if you should approach them, okay? For some of you, you're listening to your intuition. I feel like you're going to apologize to someone for something that happened between you and them. I do feel like there's a lot of emotion between you and this person. For some of you, you like to have a cup of wine every once in a while or you do drink, you know, your beer, your wine, your liquor, whatever you indulge in, or whatever you drink. You're listening to your intuition, all right? And I feel like there's some hidden information or a secret here that your person is keeping from you, or you're not telling them something, all right? But you have the free will to do whatever you want to do. You don't have to um, talk to this person or be with this person. You have the free will. But I do feel like, you know, you're taking you're taking the lead, in a situation. I do feel like a lot of you are very tall. Masculine energy. Okay. If you are a masculine. I do feel like you're tall. Masculine. Um, dark skin or fair skin. Black hair. <laughs> you are fine. Okay. Or your person. Honey. Your person is fine. But I feel like you um, are very passionate about this person. You may be watching this person. You may be dealing with a uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But I do see you honor this person. Okay? But I do see you working really hard. Okay? And if you have a vision about something, you want others to see your vision as well. Alright? On your work skills. But whatever you're trying to do with this person. Okay? You must make sure that you plan 
you know, whatever it is that you're trying to do because it will not grow if you do not continue to work through it. But however, an opportunity may be presenting itself to you. And I feel like you're very passionate about someone here. But I feel like you're holding back. You are definitely holding back, okay? You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're holding back or holding off. I do feel like you're keeping something close to your chest, um, another secret, okay? Or you're just saving your money, holding on tightly to your pentacles. I do see some of you penny-pinching, being a miser, saving your coins in your bank account, your savings account, or you're just saving money. However, I do see someone is holding back. You're listening to your intuition, and you do have a lot of passion for someone, all right? But I do feel like the opportunity is presenting itself to you. But I feel like you're saving your money and you're holding back and you're holding off. Okay. You're resisting this person. <laughs> I do feel like for some of you, you are juggling. Okay. Your person may be juggling you and another person. Or you're juggling um, two ideas, two jobs, two places. Um. Just a lot of things. You could be weighing up the pros and the cons about the situation here. Okay. But I feel like you're not sure as to what to do. I feel like you're indecisive with the two of pentacles. Should I? Shouldn't I? I don't know if I will. I don't know if I wouldn't. You know, I don't I don't know. Okay. And somebody is walking away because there's a lot of juggling. For someone, you have two jobs here. Okay. And I feel like you're walking away. From someone, okay, you could be detaching from your emotions here for some of you, but a lot of you are walking away, all right, from this person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person, for some of y'all, they juggling you and another person, which causes you to walk away. For a lot of y'all, y'all juggling two different jobs, two ideas, or just weighing up the pros and the cons, and you're detached from your emotions. For some of you, this may be a third-party situation. Or this caused like a lot of heartbreak and pain and sorrow, okay? Or mourning the loss of a relationship or a friendship. I feel like because someone is juggling, someone here is getting ready to walk away. And it's going to cause a lot of heartache and pain here. Alright? Because I feel like your luck and fortune is changing. And I do feel like things are going in your favor right now, okay? Things are definitely going in your favor. But this is a karmic that you're dealing with or a karmic situation. So it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a place or a thing. But I do feel like this is a karmic situation. Um, but the wheel is turning in your favor. You're looking fortune is changing. You're getting good karma. Okay, if you've been waiting for some money, it is coming towards you. However, I do see something changing. In your life. And I do see you planning for the future. Okay. You're planning something. You're doing some type of planning. Why are the two of pentacles here? Clarify the two of pentacles for Libra. Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus. Yeah. Someone is juggling. Like two places. Two things. Two ideas. Two people. Two jobs. Two situations. Or weighing up the pros and the cons about the situation. But I do feel like this is you, Libra. You could be dealing with a fellow Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I do feel like some of you are spying on this person. You're keeping a close eye on them. You're watching them, okay? Um, or someone is watching you. Someone is trying to figure things out. So you may be juggling here and trying to figure something out. But I feel like some, some of you are holding back. All right? I don't know what it is that you're juggling. Two jobs, two things, two ideas, two people. But for some of you, this person is juggling two different people. And I feel like you're investigating, doing some research. Okay, spying. Spying on this person's social media. Asking a friend of a friend. Riding past someone's home. Riding past someone's job. For a lot of you, you are juggling. It's not two people, but you're juggling and you're holding back. You're holding back communication. This may be someone younger than you or you're younger than someone. But you're indecisive as to what to do here. 
they may be with these two things that you're juggling, whether it's two people, places, or things, you may be experiencing some premature, immature communication from someone here. Okay? Because someone is getting ready to walk away. Alright? I already said the sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like you're wanting to talk to this person. You're wanting to bring in some truthful, honest communication here. You want to give this person clarity, and I feel like you're going to have a major breakthrough. Okay, I feel like you want to sever a relationship. However, I feel like for some of you, this person may have lied about something, and they're bringing you the truth. Okay, but for a lot of you, you're cutting through the BS, and you're bringing this person the truth, because I feel like you want to be victorious with this person. Also, some of you may be walking away because you found out some truth. You found something out about this person. Whew. Okay, there's a lot of stories in here, so just bear with me. How's the Eight of Cups here? Can I find the Eight of Cups for Libra? Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus. If you cannot hear me, please turn up your volume. Put your headphones on. Um, otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. 11-11 just showed up. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, there is a choice between two people here. So, someone has walked away because there is a, there is a decision between two. Someone has to make a choice. Someone has to pick one and drop the other one. However, I do feel like there is love here. Okay, I do feel like you love this person or this person loves you. You two may love each other because Adam and Eve is here. Okay? And I do feel like you love this person's body. Okay? There's a sexual attraction between the two of you. Alright? Alright? But if you are walking away from this person, let me tell you right now, this person is your soulmate. This person is everything and more. Alright? This person is. And I feel like some of you may be walking away because you're becoming the best version of yourself. Alright? You're staying true to yourself and you're not lying to yourself. But I do feel like you want to have relations with this person. You want love and harmony with this person. Okay? But someone may have walked away from a soulmate connection. Yeah, and I feel like somebody in here wants to apologize for that. They have a lot of emotion and they want to extend a cup of love. This may be someone younger than you or you're younger than them. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Someone is coming towards you with an apology or a gift, a romantic gesture of love. This person wants to rush in hot and heavy. This is very lustful energy, okay? Someone wants to use the male phallic to be intimate. But a lot of you, someone is getting ready to charm you. Now, that's for the females. Because I'm. it's different roles here. Feminine and divine masculine. Take it how I resonate. This person is going to charm the panties off of you. Be careful with this person, okay? This person is a player from the Himalayas. They're old school fool. All right? This person may be getting cookies somewhere else. Okay, or, you know, getting it from somewhere else, all right? It doesn't matter what it is, cookies and cream, peach cobbler, they're getting it from somewhere else. This person is a player from the Himalayas, okay? This person is in and out of your life, all right? They want to hit it and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I'm out. As fast as they come in, they rush out. They're flighty in and out energy, all right? And it's a lot of passion between you and this person. A lot of passion. But if this is not... If this if this is masculine, I feel like you're wanting to apologize to someone about something. You're, you're wanting to rush in hot and heavy because you lust for this person. There's a lot of passion between you two. This person is very good in bed, whether it's you or them. Yeah. This person draws out your sexual energy. You want to use the male phallic to be intimate with them, okay? This person makes you horny as hell. Look at how hard this person is, okay? This person makes you horny as hell. But I feel like this is someone new coming in here. Or if not, you feel like sending this person messages of love. This person may be younger than you. However, I do feel like you're using your intuition about the situation. You're very curious as, you know, you want to know more about this person. You're very curious I do feel like, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of emotion here that you have for this person. But you may feel like this person is immature.
but someone is walking away from a soulmate connection and, and it's, it's due to a third party situation or it doesn't have to be a person. It could be like meddling family or friends. This could be a job that's in the way. This could be another person. However, it could be another, it could be a romantic partner, a third party, okay? And it's caused some heartache and pain. And like I said, someone wants to apologize to you. Why is the Three of Swords here? Give me three cards for the Three of Swords. Give me one more card for the Three of Swords. Give me a bonus card. What is the actions? What is the actions? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? I'll get to the outcome later. Mm hmm See? This person caused you heartache and pain or them. They feel heartbroken by the situation, third party situation. And I do feel like you're bringing them some truthful communication. You want to be honest and bring the truth to them or you already have. Um, and I do feel like you want victory and success with this person. You want to bring this person clarity about what's going on. And I feel like you're wanting to sever a relationship here. You're cutting through the bullshit and bringing the truth. Okay. For some of you, there's a third party situation and you found this out. You found out the truth. The truth came out. And it's stressing you out. Okay. Because some of you found out the truth and it's stressing you out. You're losing your nights of sleep. You're depressed, worried about something. Some of you have anxiety of this person. However, I do see someone is stressed the hell out. There's a third party situation, whether it's a person, a job, or family or friends. And I feel like you're bringing the truth to this person. You bring them honest communication. Okay, but I feel like you're worried about something. I feel like you guys are losing sleep at night. Alright? Because I do feel like you guys need to heal. Alright? Because this is this person is your wish. This is your wish come true. This person is your star. You see them as a star. This person may be popular or in the spotlight. But you may be putting yourselves back out there again. However, I do see you're stressed out and you're worried if your wishes are going to come true here. And they are. Your wishes are going to come true. You may, be, you may be worrying about if you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out together. But someone is stressed out here. Okay. Because, you know, you may be well known in, in the public eye. A lot of people may know you. And I feel like you're, you're, you're balancing your emotions. For some of you, you don't know where to put your emotions. But I do feel like this person is your wish. Your wishes are coming true in here. And I feel like you're, you're, you're building up the courage and the confidence to send a message to this person. Or maybe this person, you know, is building up some type of confidence and courage to send you a message or some good news. But I feel like, you know, this is your wish come true. And you may be feeling inspired. This person's actions towards you is to manifest you into their life. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Alright, but I feel like you may be trying to manifest this person into your life. Or you have manifested them. You have the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. Alright, this person's birthday may be in August with the number 8. Showing up right there. This is the infinity symbol. But I do feel like you have all the tools to manifest anything you want to bring to fruition into your life. You want to manifest this person into your life. Or you are manifesting this person. The outcome. Things are going to go in your favor. The wheel is going to turn in your favor. Again, if you're waiting on some money to come to you, it is coming. But there's a change that's going to happen. Or you want change. But this is a karmic situation. So there is some change that's going to happen here with your luck and fortune. Luck and fortune is on your side. Okay, I hear that nationwide commercial coming on this morning. But again, um, I don't know who's watching nationwide or the, the commercial just coming on. But luck and fortune is on your side. 
Okay, and the wheel is turning in your favor. Things are going to go in your favor right here. There's going to be a change, or this is what you want. Change. All right, and I feel like you're going to get it. You're going to get what you want. But your luck and fortune is changing. And I feel like you're keeping this a secret. You're not telling this person. You're keeping this information hidden. That you want to surprise them with a gift or make a romantic gesture to them. You're very charming and alluring. And I feel like you can charm the panties off of this person. However, I do feel like you have a lot of emotion for this person. You may be wanting to apologize. But I feel like you guys are by yourself right now in hermit mode. Not doing nothing. Not taking any action. Alright. You're just in hermit mode. Um, doing some introspection. I feel like you guys are doing some shadow work or some dark night of the soul work. Shadow work on yourself. But I do feel like you're being guided. You're being guided towards this person. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Someone may even got ghosted here. So... There's a change happening and you haven't been saying anything about this. But you're wanting to apologize, okay, for ghosting this person. Yeah, because this person feels left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected by you. They feel like you left them out. They're feeling completely left out. This person may have experienced some bad health. But I feel like some for some of you, you could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn or somebody with Earth in their chart. Someone may be um, experiencing some... Uh, financial issues or bad health, like I said, someone here um, may be feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected. Someone has a scarcity mindset. Yep. Someone has a scarcity mindset. You guys are going to have to change your mindset. You're being guided to this person, but you have a scarcity mindset. Or a broken mindset. You're needing to change your mindset. And I feel like that is why you're doing this um, soul searching and introspection. And you're doing some shadow work. Because some of you do have a broken mindset or a scarcity mindset. Alright. However, someone is wanting to apologize for ghosting you and leaving you out in the cold. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, this concludes your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming in to the reading. I really do appreciate that. I really do hope that you like this reading and like what your spirit guides have to, to have to tell you. Because I'm just a messenger. I just read the stories out like your spirit guides want me to read them for you. <clears throat> Don't forget, the reading is $50 for personal readings, questions, general readings, sex readings, love readings, whatever you want. Send me an email. I will get that message to you specifically for you. Okay. And um, let me get one more card. Let me get one card from the Romance Angels and see what's going on. Um, if you want to donate to my channel, messages for Libra. Um, my cash app is in the description box down below underneath the video. Messages for Libra, Summer, Nazarenes. And I, um, don't forget to, um, playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Yeah, so you're being asked to, you know, open your heart up, um, have playfulness, flirt with this person. Okay, allow your inner youthful self, your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So tap back into your, um, your, 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 what is that? Your, your playfulness. Tap back into your playfulness, okay? There may be a lot of playfulness between you and your person, or maybe for some of you, you feel like this person... Like, you can't take them seriously. You don't take them seriously. Like, they play too much. They're too playful. But, this could be the one. This can be the one. Free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. Change that mindset. Change that mindset, okay? Change it. And um, if nobody's told you they love you today, Libra, I'm telling you that I love y'all. I love y'all so freaking much. I'm so happy and grateful for y'all. Okay, there would be no me without y'all.
All right? I wouldn't be here without y'all. And until next time, bye, Libras.